So the NHS is on the ropes once again because tomorrow, the 23rd of January, we have a mass walkout of ambulance workers. So this is from BBC News. As ambulance workers get ready to strike again, the message from the NHS once more is only call 999 if you are seriously ill or your condition is life-threatening. Monday walkout will affect ambulance services in England and Wales. The action will involve thousands of staff, including paramedics, control room staff, and support workers in a dispute over pay. So right now we have a situation where not only do we have mass excess deaths and many more (coughs) things of that nature, we also have people in the NHS going on strike. Now, personally, I actually do support it because, you know, you have cost of living going through the roof, you have nurses using food banks, you have an absolute crisis going on, and the effect of them striking will, I think, be far, far more damaging than the actual pay increase. And also, I think many sectors do deserve a pay increase. The amount of hours, everything, the system is coming to a halt. And tomorrow is going to be just a crazy day because, you know, a lot of people every day have heart attacks, trip over, you know, fall on their bike. And it's come to the point where not only are ambulance times, you know, five, six hours. Like I was out the other day on a night out my friend somehow cracked their skull and she was bleeding out she's covered in blood luckily it wasn't too serious i called the ambulance you know you know what's going on and and people actually told me don't even bother you know maybe get a taxi or go home and see if we can treat it because and then i called them and they were like we're going to be five six hours and i was like well you know if if she had a serious wound i mean what the fuck would happen so i think the you know, it is in crisis. So there needs, then does need to be a serious address of this. The, Rishi can't just posture as some sort of fucking strong person against the unions because people are on the streets dying. Nurses are using food banks. He's got to, I think, actually at this point, give in to demands. You know, I, I actually support NHS workers getting good pay. And there does need to be a serious address of how are we actually going to sort out this problem? Like a serious address. Richard Tice of Reform... UK. I like his policy. He wants all healthcare staff in the UK to pay zero income tax up to, I think, 20k, which, or no, zero income tax, I think, on all healthcare workers across the UK. So that'll mean incentivize one, they'll they'll earn far more because they'll keep the money they earn and also incentivize younger people to join because when even in the 12 plus grand bracket, you're still taxed on it. It's ridiculous. So personally, I think Richard Tice is someone who's actually speaking out. Now, I wouldn't vote for a Reform UK myself. However, I do like what a lot of the stuff he's saying to do with the NHS because what's actually going to happen? I know that there's a there's a thing that's trying to be put into place. I'm not even sure. I don't think it's into place right now where if you miss a doctor's appointment, then obviously you have to pay. And I think that could be a shout. It'll mean people it, like at this stage, you, like... If someone misses their appointment and people need it, that's kind of what needs to happen. So, which ambulance staffs are striking? So, thousands of members of the Unison GMB and United Trade Unions are walking out on Monday across much of England and Wales, although the east of England will be unaffected. So, Unison members are striking in five regions, London, Yorkshire, the southwest and northwest and northeast. Around 2,600 Unite members are expected to walk out in England's northwest West Midlands and North East and a further thousand will walk out in Wales. About a thousand GMB members are striking in the West Midlands for about 24 hours. The start time and lengths of the walkouts vary between ambulance servers, but most will last for about 12 hours. The actions will involve all ambulance employees, including call centre and control staff, not just emergency crews. So Unison members at two Liverpool Hospital Trust will also be working out, walking out on Monday in a dispute about pay, Liverpool Hospitals, NHS Foundation Trust and City Hearts Chest F- Hospital. The strike will include NHS staff except doctors, so staff such as porters, assistants and midwives. Ex- sorry, except. So there will still be, you know, doctors, midwives because people having babies, I'm not sure how they could actually be a strike for that, to be honest. That would be pretty crazy. But the bigger issue is, you know, there needs to be a serious suggestion of what is happening because it can't go on. Rishi can do this posturing, but let me know your thoughts in the comments. I'd love to hear. How do you think this should be? Should there be, you know, all demands given? And like, I think the big thing is they just want to just talk, get the pay rise, boom, they'll carry on. Because I've sp- spoke with a lot of paramedics and they say, you know, the hours are shit, the pay shit. Like, I-, I may as well go into the private sector at this rate. 
So the NHS is on the brink of collapse. How is it going to be reformed? It's hell of a task. But, you know, if anyone's out there, be careful tomorrow because you don't want to fuck up. And I know it's only a few thousand, but a few thousand paramedics, that's massive. Bearing in mind, waiting times right now are in the hours. So I think at this stage that there needs to be an increase in pay. It cannot go on. The cost of striking is far, far higher than the actual pay. People's lives are at risk. So Rishi needs to shut the fuck up and actually give in and actually, you know, help NHS staff who are, you know, some of these people going to food banks and working six, five days a week, long hours. It's ridiculous. So they should be get paid properly and I support the strikes. And yeah, so keep, keep, keep your eyes open about tomorrow. But yeah, love you all. Just quick update and peace. Don't forget to follow the podcast on Spotify by simply typing in the Radical English Gentleman, going over to it, clicking that follow button and giving it the five stars if you do enjoy it. It helps more than you can imagine. Anyway, love you all and peace.